Hello, welcome back. So as part of the series uh, Databricks Certified Associate Developer Spark, uh, so we're bringing up the next video that is uh, Data Frame Filter Operation. So if you are new to this channel and haven't yet subscribed for this channel, we would recommend you to please subscribe and also press bell button for instant notifications. So let's get started. So uh, I would recommend you to please read, pause this here and read about this. So this is the important uh, points that need to be kind of followed to get the maximum out of this course. So we would please uh, spare a few seconds uh, by pausing this and uh, reading through this. So let's get started with the uh, course content. So the, in this course, we'll be explaining in this particular video, we'll be explaining data frame filter operation and how this is uh, different from pair condition. So now let's uh, quickly jump to the practicals of it. So here uh, we're talking about uh, uh, data bricks of so using data bricks. We are uh, kind of a practicing our entire course. So if you are uh, new to this channel and uh, new to this playlist, especially, uh, and you are not following this complete playlist. So please uh, follow the complete playlist so that you will get to know how to, how to set up this end to end from the, uh, starting from the data bricks and how to get all these uh, uh, set up to start practicing for free in data bricks. So uh, expecting that you have already done this setup. And if not, uh, please refer to the previous videos and run this particular uh, command so that uh, you, you get uh, all the data frames created that is necessary for the practice, right? So, so as you can see, when you uh, just uh, do a print schema, you are able to see what are the data types and uh, what are the column names and what are the respective data types. And also when you de uh, do a data frame, customer data frame dot show, so you are able to see the entire uh, table and entire data in it and uh, with, the, with the column names here, right? So now uh, we can pretty much uh, start the operation, right? So uh, the filter operation and the where condition and see how exactly to utilize them. Right? So now uh, command called inside a year function, I'm calling a birth date. So that means it is extracting a year for me, right? This is like exactly like a SQL function and uh, like use a SQL operators, uh, like uh, you can use the same operators here so where you can mention 1990, right? So when you do this, uh, you'll be able to see what exactly the values are that are present and uh, you'll be able to assign it to a particular uh, variable called uh, filtered DEF, right? And so once it executes, uh, so this is how the simple filter or where operation works. And uh, so once it executes, uh, you can actually do a count and see how it, what how many exactly exactly uh, the records have been filtered out and right? how much records you are finally able to get right so to do that so you can just do a filter df dot count you can pretty much display and also see but this is a quick best request way so that's why I'm doing this and also you can create one more uh, cell here to see what was the original value of the count that is before filter. Right, so both the values you can pretty much execute and see here. So once it is executed, the count is executed. So the original data frame was having uh, like uh, more than a lakh of records, right? and uh, around one lakh records. And if you see the filtered count, right? Uh, after filtering, you are able to see only the uh, 2,734 records, right? And uh, just to see if the filter is working properly, you can even try giving some higher number, which is really not there here. In the date of birth column, if you see the, there's, there, there's no person which is after 2000. So now if I try to count uh, by after this applying this filter or where condition, so it gives me the zero count, right? So this is how the where condition works, right? Similarly, you can use filter also. So this, uh, there's no difference as you can see, 
instead of I just replaced a where instead of uh, I mean filter instead of where condition and let's do the count so still it should be zero right and if I try 1990 so it was giving somewhere around 2000 so I'm expecting the same records here so even filter is giving the same results as where so it's exactly the same condition and so you can pretty much use uh, the combination of filter and where condition so here I'm just using filter right so I can use a combination of filter and where as well so here I can mention where uh, right so where month right and I can mention birth date birth date so here we need to maintain uh, one thing that is when you're mentioning the equals to right uh, you need to mention three equals to it's not one equals to in sql if you if you're you familiar with sql you'll be using single equals to and if you're familiar with uh, any java or any programming languages so you will be using single equals to but here uh, you need to use three equals to which will actually equate to the equal sign right so here what i'm uh, trying to achieve is uh, so i'm getting all the people which are uh, born after 1990 and i want to peep, get the people who are uh, born in the january month right so i'm apl applying two things here so there is some uh, syntactical error so this runs now So here I just need to as you observed I just need to give a single quotes right and uh, here you need to mention three equals to that's very important and uh, you can also try uh, like another if you want to try another uh, condition so you can even try this condition okay and uh, so where you can mention so the SQL function is not mandatory uh, always so you can pretty much use like say for example you can give birth country there is a column called birth country right and this should be starting with dollar and it should be having double quotes right and here uh, if you want to perform not equal to right so not equal to you can give like say for example India okay so not equal to if you want to give you should mention like this so equals to is three uh, equals to and if it is if you want to mention not equals to it is like equals to exclamatory and then equals to so this is how we need to give the combinations right so as you can observe here we can what I'm trying to show you here is uh, you can use the just a filter you can use just where and you can use combination of filter and where in a particular when you are applying a particular uh, clause so it is exactly similar like SQL uh, query right so you are exactly filtering using a function and inside function you are uh, mentioning a column name and then the operator and then the value so it's exactly similar to what how exactly the SQL uh, operates and just that you need to be careful about this triple equals to and this kind of not equals to right so once this is executed you are able to see the result okay and we'll try to display this particular uh, data frame which is a value now and see what you can see the result uh, is actually after filtering applying all these filter conditions using filter or where as a uh, I mean as a actions or operators so as you can see the birth date is uh, so all the people after who was born after 1990 only are being displayed here and all the people are January people who are born in January and uh, no country is having India right so this is how uh, you actually use the combination of these two and now quickly uh, let us quickly jump uh, to the spark documentation official documentation so definitely the credits is uh, with the spark uh, Apache spark the documentation credit course to Apache spark here and we are just able to show you this uh, 
uh, one point here that is clearly mentioned in the Spark documentation where they say where is an alias for a filter that means uh, they have shown here the example right so this example as you can see this is exactly the same uh, you can achieve with where condition so, so the filter condition whatever you're using right so the same filter condition you can achieve using where condition so that is what they are trying to show you here uh, we have applied filter and see uh, filter and where condition we saw how and exactly it works uh, but let us go to the interns, uh, internals of it and understand right so as you can see here uh, when you kind of uh, click a filter dot show right it, it actually has created a spark job similarly when you are executing here uh, so here there is no spark job but when you click on show it is since it is a lazy evaluation so it is triggering a spark job here and uh, so as you know so in the previous video we've explained dag visualization so every action right so we'll have a dag visualization which will have a connection on each and every step right so as you can uh, click on here so it will show you show you the dag visualization So since we are using community edition so it might be slow and uh, so if you are using an enterprise uh, uh, edition so it will definitely show you the details of a DAG visualization very clearly and uh, if you are not able to see using this option so you can pretty much use another option right so you can use uh, filter df dot explain right in, the, in, the, in that you can give the argument as formatted so this also same uh, show the DAG visualization how exactly the each and every step is getting executed so as you can see the first step is scan and second step is applying the filters so there are two steps uh, of uh, executing this so first is it's able to read the file from this location and put it as per the schema and all and second secondly it is applying the condition and then writing to a final location so that's how the final data frame that's how it uh, exactly it shows and uh, as from the uh, exam point of view it is very important to understand one more thing that is uh, so all the functions right so it might be confusing question in the exam so they might ask uh, uh, how exactly this works like say for example if you don't specify dollar at the back right so will it work it doesn't work the reason is the the functions that you are giving here year month or whatever the function sql function that you are giving here doesn't take the string as a variables it takes column as a variables so that is why if you give if it is a string as a variable so it doesn't take so it should be made as a column so either you need to give it uh, like this or you need to give in a single quotes as you can see just a single quote here or there might be one more possibility of giving this is uh, uh, so just you can mention so the entire string right I mean the entire uh, this thing in a one string just like this so this is also just a moment So in this case uh, as you can see you need to give a single single equals to right so let us verify that it is working just remove this code and I'll give 13 which is an invalid month right So let us try to show the result I'm not expecting any results here right 
so this is how it is right so if you are uh, so there are two options right so one uh, if you want to follow the uh, the typical way of working that is you want always uh, to give it as a you give column as an argument so you need to give the dollar symbol so if you're not uh, familiar with that or if you're not well versed with that so like if you want to follow sql kind of uh, this thing so you just need to uh, enclose the entire statement in the double quotes and you can pretty much use this so, so from exam point of view it is exam point of view it is exam point of view it is uh, pretty much important to uh, know this difference right so if you are um, so there are two options one is uh, definitely use single quotes and uh, bring everything inside this right and here as you can see there is no need to specify this as a string so you can just give the, the column name as it is but if you want to specify this as a, a particular uh, string so then you can specify but you need to uh, give it as a dollar symbol or if you are giving single quote also that is fine so there are this is the first option this is second option and the third option is this one so it depends on how exa uh, but one thing is clearly in exam if uh, they want to test is so the no function will take the uh, string as a variable as you can see here it's not a st string is it's not a string here also it is not a string right because you are uh, giving a dollar and here also it is not a string because you are escaping that using the single quotes so this is very important hope this was uh, 